Okay, I'm going to be working on my grungy screen door to get it ready for my booth. Maybe, if I can figure out a place to put it in there or how to set it up. But right now, I'm going to take all these little strips that's covering up the edge of the screen. I really wish I hadn't smeared that stuff all over the screen. <laughs> but I did, but I've got some screen I can put back in it or I might use chicken wire or something. I don't know yet, but i got to get all these strips up this strip this strip and then i can get the screen off and i was about to put it on the table last night and start this and i had it on both sides getting ready to put it on the table and seen this big wasp nest full of wasp on it <laughs> so it waited till today oh there's something in the house i want to show you okay you remember my little spool table well i went back like a week later or so and found the glass for 3.99 and I thought, well, I don't know if it'll fit. But I thought, well, $3.99. And it fits so good. <laughs> and I had some of these little rubbery things to put under it. See, you can see how good it fits. So I got four of these under it. Ta-da! I was happy about that. Okay. I sloppily put on one layer of the Waverly white paint. And I'm out. So... I'm going to have to go back and uh, put some uh, rubbery latex paint on it and then try to, you know, sand it down to get the details to show. I kind of sanded it a little there, but it's just the paint's not really thick enough to me, so. Oh, well, I'll have to use the rubbery paint and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I put a layer of the white latex paint on it. And I'm hoping all that grunge that I desperately held on to will make a difference when I sand it. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just going to be kind of strange looking. But anyway, we'll see. I'll have to flip it over and do the other side, though. Okay, there's the white latex. And then over here, I sanded a little bit, hand sanded. And I think I'm liking the look. And I was going to hand sand the whole thing because I'm scared I'll, <laughs> you know, go too far. But, um, you can see the difference in those two, that and that. But I may use a finer sandpaper with the machine. <laughs> At least try it because, you know, it's going to take forever. And I wanted to show you how rubbery that paint is if I can. Anyway, you can't really tell, but that was a big chip that was on the door. And so I just ripped it off. But yeah, looking pretty good. And there's that side of that. Need a little more sanding in that area. I think it's going to turn out great. Okay, this is the back side, and I haven't put the, well, I haven't secured this down. And I'm putting this kind of metal instead of screen. I don't know what you call it. I used to know, but I forgot. <laughs> and I want to show you this tool. My ex had got it for me, and it's awesome. He got it at Ace, and it's spring-loaded where it opened back up. Let me show you. Cut that one. Cut that one. Cut that one. It makes it so easy. Where's that roll? Oh. And there's a the roll where I had to cut it off of the, the length of this. And I had to cut the end and so i'm gonna have to cut this in that's a lot of cutting in this this really made it easy well you know somewhat <laughs> i mean it's easy. it cuts through it real easy and there's a few bad places it was just in this and that is fine because it's old and worn out it's supposed to look old and worn out but i've got to make sure nobody can get stabbed but this way i can hang a few things off of this like some uh you know, hanging flowers or jewelry or, you know, different things. I don't know. I'll figure something out. But that's the bottom of the door down there. <laughs> and, uh, 
You can see a few of the little pieces over there beside that chair. Oh, the unit cut off. And then here's some of the pieces. And they will go like across there on the top of this metal stuff. So it won't be long. Okay, while my fried green tomatoes are in there cooking, hopefully I won't burn them. <laughs> I'll show you. This is the back side. I put all these pieces on. I'll probably go touch up these little nail heads. And I would stand it up and show you, but it's too tall for the ceiling out here. Well, at this end anyway. But I'm fixing to flip it over. I kind of like this back side better than the front side with all the grunge, you know, that all the flakes I put that Mod Podge on trying to hang on to. Kind of looks strange, but it kind of looks good. So I'll flip it over and show you. Okay, this time I put the bottom of the door this in. I don't know. I kind of like this side better, I guess. It just looks strange in a couple of places, I guess. Like right there. But yeah. I uh, roughed it up. I don't know if you can tell a little more around the handle. See, it looks a little more white. And the other spots. I'm out of breath. It's so humid. I can't hardly breathe when it's this humid. And down here where feet would hit, normally I... Uh, Roughed it up a little more. And there's some chunks of paint gone. Oh, I was wanting to show you. <laughs> that paint I've been using. This I peel peeled off of the green tablecloth. It's like rubber. <laughs> and so maybe I can hook this to some... Uh, picket fence I've got and use them in booth. I don't know if it'll be stable enough, but if not, I'll do something with it. Or just save it for one day if I ever do go big <laughs> with this stuff. But I don't know. Anyway, I hope you like it and uh, go ahead and hit the like button for me. And thanks a lot for watching and I hope you subscribe if you're not already. Bye y'all.